All right, we're taking a look at the satellite and radar right now. It is 354 here. We're taking a look at the eye here. It is along I-95 just north of Melbourne right now, and it's very widespread here with the wind field close to 600 miles wide here. So everywhere across the first coast are going to be impacted in some way, shape or form here for today. All right, let's take a look at the cone right now. This is the latest update from the National Hurricane Center uh, from the 2 3 a.m. update. Excuse me. Winds now 75 mile per hour sustained winds moving north to northwest at 14 miles per hour, and that'll continue to shift back towards the east by about tomorrow morning. The big three things you need to know. The stormiest starts at 4 a.m. until 4 p.m. So we're about to be in the core of this storm here. Tidal flooding, that's going to be a big issue for this morning. Three to five feet above normal here. We're going to take a look at those uh, tidal times in just a moment here. And also, a tornado threat is not out of the picture here for both today and tomorrow. So these are the high tides. This is the time for today. Biggest concern will be St. Augustine at 929, as well as Jack's Beach. That's at 857. So we're going to keep a close eye out for that. That's going to be our biggest concerns as far as flooding goes. Let's talk about the winds here. It is kicking up here. We already talked about the records there. 29 mile per hour sustained winds in Mayport, 22 in Jacksonville, 23 here right along the river. Let's talk about the wind gusts picking up here. Very strong wind gusts, 40 mile per hour gusts uh, recorded there in Mayport, 48 in Jacksonville. St. Simons, you're at 43 right now as well. But as I mentioned, the wind field very large here. This is a demonstration of how much larger it is compared to Ian. So again, about 600 miles wide is what we're looking at. That is why all areas of the first coast stretching from up to Georgia as well are going to be impacted. Of course, Georgia, you will be later into the day. The timing, as I mentioned, 4 a.m. until about 4 p.m. this afternoon. Now the updates from the National Hurricane Center are a little bit different because of that time change from Sunday. So we are at 1 a.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m., and 10 a.m. So we'll continue to give you all the updates from the National Hurricane Center as we get